and then you start editing now. Yes. Start editing here. Start editing here. Yeah. Okay. Ready. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here you got here you have to take all the drive inside. Pick one, huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. This one you know already. Mm -hmm. yeah. but we, we don't we don't start from uh, we try not to start from the system. Yeah. Alright. Now you have uh, oh. mm -hmm. then you pick this here. Make sure the back is on. This one depends on what character you have. Okay. You know what I mean? So decide you have to add, add, add. make sure everything works. Again, the body is not moving. Okay, now you render and see. Mm, yeah, still have one next yeah, you have to cover, cover, cover. Scratch one, yeah. out, then dig in, dig mm. out. So here, this part is not enough. Cut lah. Don't you cut. And now, you know, see the flow. Make sure this guy. Right here, right. 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 You want to create A, B, C, D, your base, all your walls, alright? A, B, C, D, A, I, O, U, alright? You don't need to go A, B, C, D, A, E, I, O, U. That is the number one, alright? After that, you can blend all that words. This is basic, basic blending. You still have this with uh, facial rigging, but then again, uh, this one is completely following all your meshes around, uh, your morphers, right? So E, I, O, U. And then you have expressions. E I O U is just for the lips, right? 
and then you have uh, expressions like for instance angry uh, surprised sad and then you want to have like confused you know your and so forth all right you smirk and then uh, it's a lot a thousand and one depends don't be okay if i am telling you uh you have to learn moral you have to learn this blah 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 every single thing but you are not learning you it's you're only using certain things correct so you want to use maths you want to use uh science you know you don't really use moral moral you have it as an understanding so choose what you want to do so if your production doesn't need you uh, know all that uh, smoky and all that uh, why won't waste your time understand you can always add all right as long as your your poly count it doesn't increase in your in your morpher and your model so what happens is if this is my model okay i separated the head so basically if i off this that's my original then i add that's why i have edit poly to add both and then i weld it you know what i mean if i don't weld it i won't get a smooth character so if i don't i don't have this you see this part the joints i have to make sure whichever part that i have already cut all right maybe this part i have to weld it one by one make sure it is all together if it's not then suddenly you see this part will be opened up this part will be opened up this this connected all right so you don't want to have that that's why you you weld it all right if i don't have this before i go here before i weld it first thing that i'll do is uh, normally i will pick i'll have a morpher and this is where you can pick from load multiple target or pick from object c these are channels all right c a e i o u in bengali love you and all that <laughs> so, all this so when you have all this um, slots here this is where you add your you put it in proper how you want to manage it you manage it okay after that once you are happy with all your morphers don't worry if you don't if you miss out right as long as you do like 1 2 3 or 2 3 then if you want more just add la shift and pull and make sure you name it all right if uh, mine is my character name is rodin means maybe you want to add like uh, i don't know so uh, maybe extreme set you know face pull stretch or whatever you want to add you know like you know the eye is coming out like a mask for instance you want to have the eye popping out and all that and, and that's a different rig so rigging is very subjective depending on what you want right so you add 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 as long as you don't go and add or delete unnecessary thing okay so let's say you want to have this since we all know it's different story we got our own techniques once you experience with it but if you have like uh, this guy here or this guy here this one is different technique already okay anyways uh, when you have all this suddenly you go and add maybe here you tar cut or this part you may be had this you know wrongly your morpher doesn't work that particular uh, if sad okay if this face is called sad that particular morpher for this won't work because it doesn't have the same amount of vertices doesn't am uh, same amount of topology and so for segments that's what happen all right so you have to make sure how that one goes Right. Once you have modeled, you see, I I modeled in a very low poly. Right. Where is this head? I tried to model in a very low poly. 
then once I model in low poly, I will always add like a turbo smooth on top or depends. Alright, I'll check with turbo smooth. Last time was uh, more towards uh, what they call uh, mesh mode. Then mesh mode. Okay, there's two different things. Certain, certain, certain uh, objects. Turbo smooth works really well. Certain, no. If let's say you want a specific model uh, face to be smooth, but not the rest. The rest is quite high. Only the face. You can also, example, choose the faces, example, huh? okay, I want only this. I want this part to be smoothened. Alright. So make sure it is selected. Go to mesh mode. Okay. Everything now is uh, it is smooth. But you only want that part to be smoothened. Alright? So, what you can do is uh, mesh mode, you can. Uh, wait, uh, it's been quite some time, I never used mesh mode for a long time. Maybe. So, that's why. Uh, you see this, apply to the whole mesh. Oh. Only that specific face polygon will be smoothened. So, team. Okay? The others is not. So basically, if I off on, the others will be smoothened, but as not, it's not as smooth as <coughs> only that specific uh, polygon. The others is smooth. You know that smooth that you use the hard surface on that one. It will apply that smooth. You know what I mean? So you can, of course, you can add uh, the amount of iterations 2, 3, 4, 5 until it blasts. Okay, I think this is going to crash. Yeah, I'm just going to delete this. Okay. So that's one part of it. Right? Make sure you don't need to have all that you know, of all your selections first. Right? Now I'm going back to bike. I will make sure you guys know how to create bipad. Yes. Pose. No. Yes. Okay. When you're in figure mode, make sure you figure mode you're on. Off your auto key. Never ever go and move your hand unnecessarily. Or make sure you have a copy, you save a copy. Alright, save file. So this is FIG, is basically figure. You save this for safety. Your T pose. You pose your, if your character is like that, your resting pose is like that. Alright, make sure you save it. <coughs> so once you have already set up everything, save it for your safety. Alright, because the tendency of you having this. Then I say, okay, I'll just take this even though your auto key is not on, you go and rotate. And then you keep on working, 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 working. You're done. And then, some, this is how your character is going to be. And then you go like, oh, shit, now I have to go back and put it back. Yeah, yeah all this is hassle. So you have this open back out in. You have to explore. All this I explored myself. Okay? There's no one came and said, you know. Dude, this is how you do. Nobody taught me my questions. No one taught me about uh, these things. The only thing I, when I was working, the first, first job that I got was like, uh, I was 
my specialty was something more lighting and lighting and uh, modeling background and uh, character not that much right <coughs> then again my character is fast okay so what happens is <coughs> when I went in as an animator with the grade and this sat there and this came up with my um, my classmates all together and uh, I was not doing talk I was a technical guy at the time from uh, a freelancer because I, uh, my, I, look, I watch my friends who they really need to do that. Since they entered the first story, they had to buy it, they had to enter the game. After that, it's like, you know, the green thing, I used to go there at night. You know what to do? You know, I don't know, this is a big car, maybe it's a hard to get into the direction. I'm just helping you. But when the technical guy comes in, he will say, What is this? 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 What I did was I went back to the next round I met it. How to do this? So I was more confused. can do wonders with my pet. I can save this run and then I save this walk. Right? This walk. And then I save this run. If I'm walking from this session, I take another hand or whichever all these poses, all this animation I do. Now I take all this animation and mix it. That's where things change up. You know what I mean? He's walking, he has a lot of He's walking, and then he's going to come in. Then everything goes to the thing. So I mix it, mix it, mix it. And the eye is called mixer. So I'll show you eventually. I want to touch about animation. Well, uh, animation, there's a lot of things to start with. Alright, you, you are not going to, you have to understand the basics. Of it. How to animate? Coming with me, animation. Your first thing you'll do is, if you want to learn from me, you must act. You must act. There's no way you cannot act. Uh, you know, you say, I can't. Uh, you say, you go back. Simple. Express. Go crazy. That's how we do things. All right. Anyways, back to rigging. Okay. Now I have set up. My character, uh, my biped, according to my model, right? Let's put this as bigger screen. Now you can see I have set up all my limbs. That's biped. Yeah, the the controller. Basically, this one. 
See this? This is my arm, this is my you know, bicep area, this is my shoulder and so forth. Alright? It's just that I have shaped it in accordance to the size of my mesh. Why do I do it? It's not a necessity for you to do as big as that. But uh, for me, I find it as, uh, better to do it like this. Make sure it's uh, according to the size of the bag. So that the envelope, basically the, um, the area, the radius of uh, your strength on the particular deformation or the bone by itself is going to react with fully covered. You know what I mean? Then the rest extra, you can later adjust it. But it, it's a lot more easier in that sense. Right? So, for instance, that is done. Given the chest piece, I've already ar arranged it in proper. So, I have a good bending. I have a nice, uh, nice intersections in between. All right, <clears throat> the fingers. See, my fingers uh, for this is a bit stylized. All right, so eventually I'll do a bit around, but for this was more towards like a. Uh, uh, it's more purposely done for merchandise. So I have this pl you know, plastic toys like you know, uh, Transformers, all this uh, Spawn, Superman, and so forth. Uh, that sort of style. So that's why it's a bit chamfered and it's a bit boxy. So I arranged everything. Like for instance, this guy here. Yeah. See? See, one, one, two, three. You have sections. Okay, number one thing you have to really understand. You don't have to. Okay, anyway, number one thing you have to really understand is your bending. Okay, every bending for organics, like for instance, human and all that, your home minimum is three. Must be three. It doesn't matter, minimum uh, is three, depending how you want to do it. Alright, so one, two, three to stretch. If this is connected, it's fine because you're not going to do it like that. If you are breaking, it's a different story. If you are just bending like that, this part expands. This part squeezes in. Right? Stretches, squeezes. Open up, squeezes. This still remains. Right? The stretching part is only this, this area. So, not that, that tough to understand. This is a normal anatomy. Alright, always remember that, then once you have fixed, you are happy, done, okay, your neck is proper, make sure your head, this head is properly covered, okay, now, since you are happy, okay, go here, add physics. I go for physics. You have two types. One is skin, one is physics. I like physics because it's faster. Actually, skin, you get a better result. Right? So, it depends. So, for the easier way, I'm teaching you physics. Skin, you go panda panda la chari. Okay? No. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oops. Okay, physics, you add, now, see this, attach to a knot, do not go and click on this, Uh, 
before you do anything you can have physics there modifier don't go and link first okay before anything make sure nothing is linked to the character make sure is that match this one you saw all that all the waves is coming out and everything right the points and all that that is because there are links you know what i mean all that is links so you don't want to have all that you go back to manager you open everything see your controller you can delete your controller and so forth all right come on okay of this unlink this to the head and so forth all this is now linked to the head to the skeleton right so i'll just off this for you guys for you guys okay I'll off this also. Oh, I got physics for that. That's fine. Okay. So now I'll go back to this. Even the eye. This is one thing they say. What when you are already have a character and then you have to rewrite back again. It's like ah, I'm going back again. Not again. You want to do the thing, same thing again. Blah blah blah. Even this, I think you now have this guy. I will off the bike. Now I go back to bike. Form, pick the physics. See this attached to a knot. All right, attached to a knot. Pick this. Pick in the middle, or you can pick here also can. All right, try not to pick in the middle. Pick at your pelvis. All right, either way doesn't matter. Okay, so you do that. Now there's something is linked here. That's why this is coming out. So all these joints here, as you can see. That's basically your your biggest win, all right. That's your biggest win. All your interconnected win life. You have given life to this particular character. So anything that is connected to, like for instance a belt here, a belt that has, has been attached to the pelvis. Okay. What is attached? Then you see one link. It is linking to that. Because it indicates as one particular match, so we can forget about that. Like for instance, this guy here. This is normal, all right. Whether you have match, you don't have match. The hands, the whole bike, it will follow every single bones that you have. Anything extra off is something that is linked to the biped. Okay. So once you have this. We start from the head. Okay. Happy, happy, happy. All right. Now, first you identify what are the links that you don't want to use for that particular section. All right. You identify first. So I'll go to links point here. So you know how to do that, eh? So make sure. Under physics, and edge. Okay. Who? Uh huh. Okay. But this is not been taught. Now this biped yes, but physics no. Yeah. So. Okay. So no. What I meant was the physics. You know how to link it, right? Attached to not 